Captain Dan here, Goober Time Guide Service. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about batteries. Now, scouring the internet forums, I see people asking the same questions all the time, so I thought I'd do a video on it. People asking about 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, how they hook things up for their trolling motor, whatever the case may be. Now, in today's day and age, everything's lithium batteries, so that's what we're gonna cover here today. I've got a couple lithium batteries on the workbench behind me. We're gonna go through it. There are a couple little nuances with lithium batteries that you need to be aware of as far as what kind of voltage readouts you're gonna see. So let's hop on over the workbench and check it out. So on the workbench here, we have three 50 amp hour 12 volt batteries. For a frame of reference with these lithium batteries right here, these things are really light and compact but one of these is about equivalent to a deep cell battery you typically find on a boat or in a car. Now those typically run 100 amp hours, but you only have about 50% discharge on them. Lithium batteries, you can discharge up to 100%. So you get the full 50 amp hours out of each one of these batteries. That's why they're so popular in the fishing world and a lot of other spaces as well. All right, before we get into setting this thing up, I wanna show you one thing that's really important. If you're gonna be combining batteries, you wanna make sure you have the same brand. I have all three batteries from the same brand same stats on the battery they're all 12 volt 50 amp hour and the same age on them and the same style these are all lithium batteries 12 volts 50 amp hours from the same company and i bought them all at the same time you also want to stick a voltmeter on them and make sure they're reading consistently this first battery here is giving me a charge of 14.1 second battery is giving me a charge of 14.1 and the third battery is giving me a charge of 14.2. So they're all very similar and in the grand scheme of things that's perfectly fine. You might be noticing that I'm calling these 12 volt batteries and they're looking at 14.1 volts. That's because at a full charge for lithium they're a little bit higher. So as we work through our system here remember we're working off basically a 14 base. 14 volts. If I combine two we call it 24 volts but we're looking at 28. If I combine three, we call it 36 volts, but I'm looking at 42. And we'll verify those readings as we go here. Now, I can't force you to give this video a thumbs up, but my sources tell me that if you don't, you're gonna wire your whole boat up and then forget to charge your batteries. You're gonna get out in the water and they're gonna be dead. So don't risk it, guys. Hit that thumbs up button to make sure your batteries stay charged all the time. It's free to do and it helps the channel out a lot. We appreciate your support. Now, let's start off with the most basic scenario here. Let's say that you have a 12 volt trolling motor or something operating off of 12 volts and you buy a 50 amp hour battery and it's just not cutting it. It's dying faster than you want. So you wanna extend your runtime, which means you are gonna take your capacity and piggy bank off of it. I like to think piggy bank, parallel. These words are kinda of hard to keep straight, parallel versus series, so that's kinda of what I think. If I'm trying to piggy bank and extend my power base, I'm gonna parallel wire up my batteries, which means I'm gonna go negative to negative, clamp those down, and then I'm gonna go positive to positive and clamp those down. When you're doing your connections, you wanna make sure you tighten your nuts down as good as you can. You don't wanna create any sparks or arcs or anything like that. That's how you cause fires and damage things. Okay, so now if I look at my voltmeter again, all I've done is extend my capacity and kept the voltage the same. Still 14.1 over here and 14.1 over here. So now this is just a bigger capacity of battery. And if I wanted to add in a third set, I could do that. I'll scooch these down, do two more piggy banks, positive to positive, negative to negative. I would have 50 amp hours with a single battery, 100 amp hours with double, and up to 150 if I put all three of these in parallel. I know it can be kind of hard to distinguish between what parallel and series mean if people are talking about that online or with your buddies or whatever. Here's how I remember what parallel is. If I take and move these batteries apart, look what happens to my cables here. My jumper cables form parallel lines, something that looks like train tracks. So that's kind of how I think about it. The jumper cables are running in parallel when my batteries are oriented the same. Now let's talk about going from a 12 volt system to a 24 or even 36, because that's probably what most of you are here for. So the way I like to think about this is I'll take my jumper cable, and instead of running parallel and connecting all those posts and connecting all these posts, I'm gonna make an S for series. So I'm gonna start at one negative and clamp that on. Now I'm gonna snake through my system. It's gonna go positive to negative and then transfer back over to a positive. Look at how that cable makes an S there for series. Okay, so we've just turned a 12 volt system into a 24 volt system. Remember it's 14 and 14, so we're expecting to see 28 volts on the voltmeter here. And when you go to connect your trolling motor, you're gonna go positive to positive, negative to negative across the system here. So let's go positive over here, negative over here, 
and we see that voltmeter jump up to 28.2. Perfect. So we've increased our voltage, but you only have 50 amp hours of runtime out of this battery still. But the nice thing is, as you increase your voltage, you require fewer amps. So a 24 volt trolling motor, for instance, isn't gonna pull as many amps as a 12 volt. And then when you go to 36, you get away with even fewer amps, but your voltage goes up. So for those of you trying to get away with some heavy current trolling motors, some 36 volt trolling motors, some big bad ones, you're gonna snake through your system again. Remember we started with positive for our connection, so our negative snuck around to our other positive, jump over. So let's snake through our system here and tighten those bolts down and we'll show you that this thing's producing 36 volts or in a lithium world, 42 volts. So here's our voltmeter. Again, we have to go positive on one end of the system, go all the way through the system, go to the negative, and there's our 42 volts. Now, I hope that information helped you out, but before you go crazy and start working experiments on your boat and everything, make sure you know about your accessories. If I had a 12 volt trolling motor and I hooked it up to the positive and negative here, I would fry that thing because I'm putting 36 volts to it. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it with the volts or you will be destroying your equipment. So know what you need, Use one of these systems, whatever you need to find is in this video and I hope it helps you out. I hope that video served to clear a couple things up for you. Maybe you have some ideas on what you can do with your setup. Write a comment down below if that helped you, if you learned something today or if there's something you plan to apply in your setup. While you're at it, check out our description box down below where I linked a couple videos you're gonna to wanna to check out because this one's over.